Very late on Friday night, there were a flurry of emails fired off from the Pentagon, really late, after 10 p.m. on a Friday night in mid-July. So basically guaranteed for nobody to notice what was going on. But the news was actually pretty big news. Uh, in some ways, it could be the biggest news about Guantanamo since President Obama announced on day two of his presidency that he was going to try to close it. According to this utterly buried news this weekend, dozens of prisoners at Guantanamo are going to get what the Miami Herald is characterizing as parole board style hearings to determine if they represent a continuing significant threat to the United States. Now, these will not be legal hearings about whether or not it is legally kosher to keep holding these guys in prison. Uh, it's a hearing about whether or not these guys are dangerous to the U.S., whether keeping them in prison is necessary in order to protect against a continuing significant threat. Of the 166 men still being held at Guantanamo, 86 of them have already been cleared for release, more than half. But conditions sent by Congress will not let the Obama administration release them. Those guys who are already cleared for release but still not released, they are not the ones who are getting these new hearings. Rather, these new hearings apply to other prisoners who have not been cleared for release, but who also have not been charged with anything, nor have they been put on trial. Those guys will now at least start to have some sort of process to assess whether the United States even wants to have them in prison anymore for any reason. If more people are cleared for release, does that make it more likely that any of them will be released? I mean, if we go from half of the prison cleared for release, which is what we have now, let's say we go from half of it to 90% of the prison cleared for release. If that happens, can anyone finally get released ever? Hello, is this thing on? Here's one thing to watch. In, in the president's big last pronouncement about how he really does want to close Guantanamo, the president said he was announcing two new envoys to get the job done. He said there would be one close Guantanamo chief for the State Department and one for the Pentagon. The State Department has their guy. He has been announced, he has been installed, he's in the job, he's working it. The other envoy is supposed to be from the Pentagon. So far, no word on that. The Pentagon still has not even picked anyone for that gig. Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel, please call your office. When we do get one, when we finally do get an envoy at the Pentagon in charge of closing Guantanamo, who's betting we're going to hear about it very, very, very late on a Friday night in the summer?